It's Thursday, it's the real deal, and you're probably wondering where you'll move if you sell your house today. If you put a pause on your home search because you weren't sure where you'd go once you sold your house, it might be a good time to get back in the market. That's because today's market is undergoing a shift and the supply of homes for sale is increasing as a result. That means you may have a better chance of finding a home that will meet your current needs. Here are options to consider. Buying an existing home can give you that lived-in charm. According to the National Association of Realtors, the supply of existing homes has steadily increased since the beginning of the year. The graph shows and indicates inventory levels are rising and that's largely due to more homes coming onto the market and the pace of sales slowing. As the graph shows, if you're looking for a home with lived-in charm, supply is rising and that's great news for you. Danielle Hell, Chief Economist at Realtor.com, gives an insight into why more homeowners are listing their homes and adding to the growing supply of existing homes today. Quote, home sellers in many markets across the country continue to benefit from rising prices and fast selling homes. That's prompted a growing number of homeowners to sell homes this year compared to last year, giving home shoppers much needed options. We've seen more homes come up for sale this year compared to last year. There are several benefits to buying an existing home. Many buyers want to purchase a home with history and the character of older houses is hard to reproduce. Existing homes can often be part of the established neighborhood featuring mature landscaping that can give you additional privacy and boost your curb appeal. Plus, timing can be a consideration as well. With an existing home, you can move in based on the timeline you agree with the sellers, rather than building a new home and waiting for construction to finish. This is something to keep in mind, especially if you need to move sooner rather than later. Just remember, while more sellers are listing their homes, supply is still low overall. That means you'll have more options to choose from as you search for your next home, but you'll still need to be prepared for a fast moving market. Purchasing a newly built or under construction home means brand new everything. Census data shows there's an increasing number of new homes available for sale. It includes homes that are under construction, soon to be completed and fully built. As the graph highlights, the supply of new homes for sale has also grown this year. When building a new home, you can create your perfect living space and customize it to your lifestyle. That could mean everything from requesting energy efficient options to specific design features. Plus, you'll have the benefit of all new appliances, windows, roofs, and more. These things can help lower your energy costs, which can add up to a significant savings over time. The lower maintenance that comes with a newer home is another great advantage. When you have a new home, you likely won't have as many little repairs to tackle, like leaky faucets, shutters to paint, and other odd jobs around the house. And with new construction, you'll also have warranty options that may cover portions of your investment for the first few years. Keep in mind, purchasing a new home could mean waiting a considerable amount of time before you can move. Robert Dykes, Chief Economist and Senior Vice President for Economics and Housing Policy at the National Association of Home Builders explains, quote, new single family home inventory remained elevated at 7.7 .7 months supply. However, only 8.3% of the new home inventory is completed and ready to occupy. The remaining has not started construction or are currently under construction. That's an important factor when making your decision and one you should discuss with a trusted real estate advisor. They'll help you think through all the pros and cons of both new and existing homes to help you arrive at the best decision. Ladies and gents, here's the bottom line. With the supply of homes for sale rising, you have options for your next home, no matter what your preferences are. If you have any questions or want help deciding on what's best for you, let's get together and let's start the conversation. As always, you can leave a comment below or shoot me a DM. And as usual, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.